大家好，我是 Eddie， 欢迎来到 Chinese Eddie G。Hi guys, this is Eddie. Welcome to my channel. 今天我们来学习 HSK 第四册的一个语法。Today we're going to learn a grammar point from HSK Level Four textbook. Let's get started. 我们开始吧。Today's grammar point is about comparison between 大概 and 也许。大概。也许 we're gonna talk about the similarities and differences. So starting with the similarities, you guys can take a look at the book's explanation. Both phrases can be adverbs, and it means somebody are speculating things, and it means maybe something will happen. Let's take a look at the example. 他总说自己特别喜欢看书，可是这本书。他看了一个月才看到第五页，大概或者也许是因为工作太忙吧。但我觉得一个真正爱看书的人总能找出时间来阅读。He always talks about how much he loves reading. However, for this book, he has read for a month, but he only read until page five. Maybe because he is too busy with his work. However, I think for a person who really loves reading, can always find time to read. So, 大概 and 也许 in this、um, paragraph means maybe or probably. Now, moving on to the differences. Difference number one. Just now we talked about these two phrases, both mean maybe or. Probably right. However,、uh, 大概 the probability or the possibility is stronger, while 也许 is less or less stronger. So I'm thinking the English counterpart of 大概 is there is the bigger chance or bigger possibility, while 也许、uh, just means maybe. So you can see the degree is different. I mean, it's easy to understand, right? Because 大概 in this phrase, 大 means big. This character stands for big. So when you see 大概 you know that it it means there is a bigger chance. Take a look at the two example sentences. Number one, 老张这个人一直很准时，开会从来不迟到，今天到现在还没来，大概是有什么事情。你打个电话问问他吧。老张 ，this person has always been punctual. He has never been late for meetings. However, today until now he hasn't showed up yet. Probably there is something going on. How about you make a call and ask him? Let's try to understand what this sentence is trying to say.、Um, Lao Zhang has always been punctual. He has never been late, right? So today is the very first time for him to be late, and it's so rare.、Um, that's why you know the person uses 大概 so there must be something happening, and he is pretty sure、um, there is a big possibility something is up because he was always on time. Sentence number two. 这次电影艺术节也许会在北京举行 For this time, the movie art festival probably will be hosted in Beijing. The reason why the speaker uses "ye shu" is probably he is uncertain. He's not sure because he didn't collect much information. So instead of saying "da gai," he said "ye shu" because he's not so sure. Now let's talk about difference number two. When you want to do an estimation of number and you're not sure about the number, usually we use 大概 but not 也许 Let's take a look at the example sentence. 大概有三分之二的人反对这样做 About two thirds of people oppose to do like this. Because two thirds is talking about number, then we use 大概 but not 也许 Now let's talk difference number three. 也许 people use it when they are not certain about their future plan 
but we don't use 大概 in the situation. Let's take a look at the example. 我原来想学习法律，不过后来我发现自己对新闻更感兴趣。也许以后我会成为一名记者。I originally wanted to learn law. However, later I found I am more interested in news. Probably in the future I will become a journalist. Now, difference number four. 大概 could be an adjective. We actually talked about it at the beginning of this lesson, if you still remember. However, when we use 也许 it doesn't have the use. It 也许 couldn't be an adjective. Let's take a look at the example. 不管做什么事情，最好提前做计划，不用安排的特别详细，但必须有一个大概的想法。No matter what you do, you better make a plan in advance. It doesn't have to be a very specific plan. However, you have to have an abstract idea. 大概的想法 abstract idea or an outline. So it doesn't have to be details. This time, 大概的 means an adjective. 好，现在我们来做练习。Now it's our drill time. We have five sentences, and let's see which word we should choose. 我们看看我们到底选择大概还是也许呢？好，我们开始吧。第一句，这次调查发现，超过百分之七十的儿童更愿意让爸爸给自己读书。为什么会出现这种情况？大概或者也许是因为父亲平时陪孩子玩的时间太少。This survey found out over seventy percent of children are more willing to let their fathers to read stories to them. How come this situation happens? Probably because fathers usually has less time to spend with their children. 第二句。穷人的孩子早当家，他们也许没有很多钱，却可能比富人家的孩子经历的更多。Poor children usually will become the support of their family earlier. They may not have much money, however, they may experience more than the children from rich families. Actually, the first sentence. 穷人的孩子早当家 It's like a slang. It's like an idiom in Chinese.、Um, that means usually a child from a poor family will become the support of his family earlier than those rich kids because they will be mature earlier, right? Because they're poor, so they know the hardship in their family. They probably will drop out of school and go out to、uh, make a living to work and earn money for their whole family. Um, that's the meaning of 穷人的孩子早当家。当家 that means you are going to support your family. You are going to deal with everything for your family. 当家 Sentence three, 第三句。师傅，我去机场，大概要多长时间？半小时能到吗 ？Taxi driver, I want to go to the airport. Approximately, how much time will it take? Will we make it in half an hour? 第四句 sentence four. 小孩的脾气变化很快，刚才还对你哭个不停，也许一下子就没事了，好像什么都没发生过。Children's temper is switched quickly. Just now, they were crying to you nonstop. Maybe the next minute they're fine, as if nothing has happened. 第五句 sentence five. 您最近在拍哪部电影？能谈谈电影的大概内容吗 ？Which movie are you recently shooting for? Can you talk about the rough idea of this movie? 大概内容 means the rough idea or rough content, general content. 
Alright guys, that's a wrap for today's lesson. I hope you learned something from me. If you liked today's video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, and I shall see you very soon in the next video. 好了，我们下节课再见吧，拜拜。